been a very emotional year for Bex. Obviously, we're very important knife crime story. You must be proud to see the story getting recognised with uh, with with a prize this evening. Definitely, you know, I'm so you know it's so amazing that we've won this award. Um, I think we got we did an amazing job to show something, you know, a, a real issue that needed to be covered, and I think we covered it brilliantly. Getting the real people's you know stories in the episode, I thought that was phenomenal, and it just showed that it's not just a TV show. You know, you watch it, you go to bed, you don't think about it. It's real life, and I think having them real people in that really did help, you know kind of hit home that it, it is real and it does go on so yeah and, and one of the things that they're continuing to do is they're continuing to bring it back to the fore it's not always the main focus but the pain's obviously there for a lot of the characters will that continue to happen over the next month to still continue to affect the people left behind yeah i think because it's a tricky one isn't it because when you lose someone there's not a time period where you're like oh a week's gone by i'm fine now it's not like that is it and and i think everyone deals with it in different ways and that's interesting to see how the mother deals how the best friend deals how his friend deals with it keegan so i think we are going to see the unraveling of that and how different people deal with it and is how much is enough time you know to and i think it never really is enough time you know of course you're always going to have that loss of someone but yeah we're going to see the unraveling of how different people deal with it kind of thing yeah. and we've seen we've seen bex consider her, her future in terms of education whether she's going to go to sixth form university kind of thing do you think it's um it's quite refreshing that for a young a young character is actually being given a story like that rather than just you know pregnancy drugs drink you know it's nice it's actually quite relatable because that's a struggle for every young person yeah i think i think yeah i think finding storylines that you know are relatable and you know young kids can relate to is so important and we're storytellers, so it's so lovely to storytell and people to relate. So yeah, it is lovely, because a lot of kids, you know, they don't know whether to go to university or stay at home. That is a real struggle. Teenagers are like, I don't know what to do. So I think it is great, and I think some young kids will definitely find it helpful, you know, watching what will Bex do, the struggles that she has, because it's not just easy as saying, I'm going to go to university. It's a massive thing, isn't it? You know, leaving your mum, it's a massive step. So yeah, I think it's great that we're doing something like that, definitely. Yeah, it's nice to be grounded sometimes. Yeah. It, you know, you can have explosions and murder, but stories like this, everyone can relate. Um, but it is a very exciting time for EastEnders. You've got um, a new producer coming in who's done some amazing work at Corrie and Emmerdale. Um, and Christmas is just around the corner, which is a big thing for EastEnders. So it's a quite an exciting place to be for you right now. I think it is, yeah, it's very exciting. You know, it's the nature of the job. You get producers come in, and I'm super excited. Kate is so lovely. So I am just super excited to see, see what's going to happen, definitely, definitely. And can you give any little teasers for what kind of Christmas is ahead? Is it a dark one, a light one? Well, it's EastEnders, and I think that's the biggest clue in itself. Yeah. Come on, it is EastEnders. <laughs> so it will be fun. It will be, it will be a good Christmas. But of course, it's EastEnders, so expect drama. Yeah.